Hey guys, Will Robinson here. Welcome back. Hey, um, I'm not sure if I told you in the past, but I also do auto body. And uh, that Impala I've been working on, the one I did the multifunction switch and the troubleshooting, the one I was in for getting ready for inspection, and uh, did, just got completed with the tune-up. And now uh, I got back from a ride. But that Impala, I actually did a front-end collision job uh, probably two years back. This car was involved in a pretty extensive front end collision that almost totaled it. I had to uh, replace the front bumper, grill, headlights, hood, radiator support, radiator. It was a pretty, uh, pretty intensive, pretty intense job. But uh, as you can see, it still looks good. And that, that was two years ago I did that job, and the guy's still really happy with it. He actually sends me a lot of work, and he recommends. A lot of people to me just because, just from that job. That's actually how I got him as a client. But uh, when he brought it in, I, there's this dent on the right front fender that just sticks out like a sore thumb. And he said he got tagged by a deer a few months back, and uh, it makes him sick to his stomach every time he sees it because he's so proud of how nice the front end looks and everything. And then that deer tags it, and that's the first thing everybody looks at. So I gave him an estimate and everything, I'm fixing that. And uh, for the most part, I'd probably get all of it out with PDR. It's called painless dent removal, PDR short. And uh, that's something I took a class for years back. And I uh, can't say I 100% perfected it, but I, I got it down to where I can make a profit off it. I don't do too much of it anymore because it's so time consuming, but it can make you a pretty good profit. But it, it is a special technique, so I want to warn you there that uh, if you're going to try this, try it on a try it on something that, uh, that you don't care about. Like if the fender's damaged already, hey, what are you going to do? You, you know, it's already damaged, so you're not going to ruin it. But uh, it is very time consuming. You got to have patience, and that's why it's not for everybody. But uh, with that being said, I'm going to show you a quick way just to get the cam dents out. Like if you have a dent where someone leaned against it, as long as it's not creased too bad, I'll show you how to pop them out and. You might have to get behind it and just work the back side of the dent a little bit so it doesn't pop back in on you. But I don't know if I really want you guys going too much further than that without uh, practicing on something or taking a class on it. Because you can you can make it harder for the body shop, you know, where they might have been able to save that fender. If you go taking it too far, if you stretch that metal out too far, then, you know, they might not want to mess with it. But if you feel confident that you can do it, I'll show you how. But remember, it is a special technique and it is a special set of tools that I'm using when I go behind it. And I'm not going to do this one to the full extent. I'm just going to scratch the surface on PDR. It's, you know, I'm not even going to get my light board, my reflection board out for it. I'm just going to work with the shadow that the light puts off and uh, just get it out for the most part to where it doesn't catch your eye as soon as you walk up on it. I'm not going to get all the little dings and stuff out. It's, because I'm, you know, I'm not charging a guy for this. I'm just doing it for a bonus for you guys. But you'll see the before and after when I'm done with this, just by going, just like I said, scratching the surface of the PDR. How good of a job you can actually do! And it's very impressive. And if you take your time and you spend a couple hours on a fender that's damaged like this, you can make it look like the day I painted it. But uh, nothing really beats 100% the traditional way of getting that dent out and you know glazing it over and shooting it again because uh, sometimes in a collision there's scuff marks and sh stuff like that so so the traditional method is still in my eyes the way to go but for the most part people are happy with me just popping this dent out for a few bucks and uh, then being on our way so with that being said let me show you a little bit of PDR and take a look at that car and that's a two-year-old paint job It's not even cleaned up. But yeah, that's just one of my jobs. I got got a whole portfolio of classics and everything that I painted. Flake jobs, you name it. But I ain't gonna brag no more, so let me uh let me show you some PDR. As you can see those those dents on that uh on that fender, let me show you a quick way to do it.
Okay, I'm gonna start off with a, I got a suction cup. These, uh, these are used a lot in glass applications like removing windshields. You'll see it later on in videos, I'll make a, maybe a windshield replacement. I do quite a bit of them for inspections. And uh, I, got a, I got a few sets of these, right up to the bigger ones that I use for removing the glass so I can do it by myself. But uh, these smaller ones work great for this. As you can see right here, I got this dent. I got another one right back here. This one I'm sure I could get out. This one I could probably get out. But the only problem is if you look down here, there's a crease. So what's gonna happen after I pull that out, if somebody lightly leans against that, it's gonna pop back in. So, uh, so I'll start by applying the suction cup. You can see there. Now slowly, let's see if I get this light so it's not casting too much of a shadow. This is really not much I can do. I'm standing right here. I don't know if you can still see that dent. Start by pressing it. Sometimes I'll get up behind it and I'll actually massage it out as I'm doing this. But in this case, you can see the, the metal flexing. There it goes. You can see that one popped right out pretty nice. Now let's go back to this one. That one came right out too. I'm telling you, man, you can, these things work wonders. And as you can see, I got a little dent here, another one here, another one here. If I don't take care of these, as soon as I push on this fender, it's gonna pop back in. So hang, hang tight for a minute, I'm gonna get you another tool. Okay, back when I had the body shop, I used to also specialize in paintless dent removal. It was a pretty good, uh, Pretty good side job at one time. I mean, it still can. But it's tedious and it takes a lot of time. So I'm not going to go too far into into the PDR part of this. But uh, I will give you a quick shot of how to get them out real fast. Because when you get in the PDR, paintless dent removal, in order to get them perfect, there's a, a technique to it. And I actually went to school for it. And uh, that would consist of me setting up a reflection board. And what that reflection board would do would cast a shadow. And wherever there's a dent, you know, I'm just going to use this extension as an example. It would cast a shadow. I'm not sure if you can see it from there. But wherever there's a dent, it will distort the reflection. So what I'd do, I'd set up my reflection board to where that re that uh, we're showing up that distortion really good. And I get behind there with one of these tools. As you can see, I got there's a quite a few of them. Here, let me just take one out of here. There's one. This is a ball style point. And what I do to gain access, I get behind there with this tool. While that reflection's there, I'm looking at the, the where it's distorted. And I get up in there behind there and I just massage the back of that dent. And I start, and it takes it. It's real tedious, time consuming. And since I'm not charging this guy, and uh, I'm just doing this for a bonus for this video, you can make this fender, since the paint's not too badly messed up, except for this one spot where it's scraped. It, um, if it wasn't for that, I could make this thing look just like the day I, I repainted it. But it would take me a couple hours to get all these dents out because it, it's really time consuming. So for now, I'm going to show you a quicker method. And that's going to, you're going to need a hot glue gun. And you can use one of these uh, Papa Dent systems. I'm not sure if you've ever seen that. But this comes with a, a little adapter here. What you do, you put hot glue on it. And then you stick it right onto that dent. And you take this pop of dent and screw it in until it pops. So I got a little bit of more of an advanced setup, but uh, I'll show you mine. But these work good too. And I use that one a lot. And it was just a cheap set, and that thing's paid for itself time and time again. But uh, let me get out, let me heat up this glue gun, and uh, show you how I do it. Okay, for most of you, pulling it out with the suction cup might be good enough and then just as long as somebody don't lean on it it'll be alright but it's still a little wavy 
it's just uh, I just know I can do a lot better than that real quick because uh, let me show you one little hit those dents come right back so uh, I'm going to show you my other method of pulling these out and this other way will actually won't allow the can back in so quick the reason this can is because there's a kink right here and there's a dent right here so it's always going to lead back to that to that one dent and it's going to allow that to the can so if someone just just leans against your car it's going to push back in Just mark them. I'm actually going to go around it. I don't want my hot glue to not stick to the crayon. Once I pop this one back out, I think there's another one right here. Not that one's leaving too. And this one I might have to punch down because it might even actually be high. Definitely right here, this one here, I got it punched down and up. Okay. Got all kinds of miscellaneous tools for doing this PDR. All kinds of punches. These are actually for taking out high spots. I find that high spot and tap it. I'll tap that up. Make sure you actually tap that one up right away. Quit tapping this up. Okay. There isn't much I can do with that spot because the paint's actually cracked, so I'm not I'm not gonna go too much further with that. But as far as this one, this one, and this one. Pop them back out quick with this. That one's already out. Okay. See, there's one here, one here. I'm not being anal about this one, I just just making a quick bid for you guys. As you see I'm almost out of hot glue. I actually have enough to do this. I'll be pretty quick with this stuff. I'll come in here and this should give you a quick uh, demonstration on that one, right? Set up. Now these actually work pretty well. I mean, it's not going to be show quality. It's not going to be perfect. But as you'll see on the before and after, already this is this is a big difference. I mean, it looks like a totally different car. When I first walked in here, my eye was instantly attracted to that big dent on that fender. So. Uh, the more we get out, the more time you spend on it, the better you get it. You just don't want to try to go too fast with this stuff because once you go too far, it's too late. So just take your time. If you want to get back there and caress it with something, like I actually, while this is drying, I'll just give you a quick example. As you can tell, I don't have my board out or anything, but uh, I really don't want to spend too much time with this. 
Okay, I'm just going to move this inner guard real quick. 